Hello. All right, so we're going to be looking at lesson 16 of module four today, and this is fairly quick, but we're looking at some keywords here. So we're still doing um, some expressions, some algebraic expressions. So we're looking at some of the keywords. So the first set of keywords I see is less than, and less than is a subtraction word. So I'm just gonna put subtract up there. And then I look down a little farther and I see the word product and product means multiply word. Got it. All right. So we have 10 less than the product of 15 and C. So whatever we have here, we have to take 10 less than this. So over here, I'm just going to put minus 10 at the end because we have to take 10 less than whatever we get here. And the product of 15 and C means we have to multiply a 15 and a C. So as we know, we don't want to use that X anymore. So we can either use the dot with the C and, or we can do 15 C minus the 10. So we have 10 less than the product. So 10 less than the product. So now if we look at this next one, I see the word times, which is a multiplication word. So I'm just going to put multiplication, multiply. And then I see the word increase, which means to add. And these are things that we're going to be looking at even in more in depth soon. So we have five times D and then increased by eight. So we have five times D and then increased by eight. And if we want to use the dot in between those, that is totally fine. All right. So now we're going to look at a couple more situations, but more like in the word problem form. So, all right, we're going to underline some stuff in this text. Marcus has four more dollars than Yassin. So more means to add, okay? So for more than Yassin, if Y is the amount of money Yassin has, so right above the word, his name, Yassin, I'm going to put a Y because that is super, that's a really bad looking Y. So we're going to put a Y over Yassin. So if Y is the amount of money Yassin has, write an expression. Now remember, expression, key thing about an expression is it does not have an equal sign. So Marcus has four more dollars than Yassin. So we have Yassin and Marcus has four more than he has. So that's how we write an expression. Now let's look at Mario. Mario is missing, missing half of his assignments. All right. So it says if A represents the assignment, so I'm just going to put a little A above this. Half can be written in a couple of different ways. Half could mean divided by two, like candy bar, splitting it in half, or you could be multiplying by a half, okay? Like half of something. If I take half of a candy bar or I divide it in two, the same thing is going to take place. So how does that all look with Mario is missing half of his assignments? He only did half, that's not too good. So half of his assignments, we can either have the assignments divided by two, which also can look like a divided by two if you wanna make it look like a fraction, or we could do half of the assignments. So either way is accepted. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math.